you have seen my earlier videos, by now you know that I'm a great fan of why and how. So in this video, we are going to see why storytelling should be used while teaching science and most importantly, how it should be used. So stay tuned till the end. Science through storytelling. Storytelling is the vivid description of ideas, beliefs, personal experiences and life lessons through stories or narratives that evoke powerful emotions and insights. You must have observed CBSC that Central Board for Secondary Education in India recently has organized a number of seminars on storytelling as pedagogy. As rightly said by CBSE Director Dr. Vishwajit Saha, if we want to fuel the power of imagination and creativity, if we want to develop higher order thinking skills in students and retain learning for a longer time, by linking it to human emotions, we must use storytelling as a pedagogy. And a lot of recent research has shown that stories remain longer in the memory. Why should we use storytelling? Let's see. To grab the attention of students, to build curiosity, to help remember things better, to make your lesson engaging and to put complex ideas in simple ways. There are four P's of storytelling. The first one is plot, that's a situation, problem or dilemma. Let's take an example, spread of dengue during monsoon season. Now the purpose or the scientific concept or value is to make the students aware about the symptoms of dengue and second would be ways to prevent them from the deadly disease. Now people character, uh, this is the third P. You can decide on uh, the characters of your story to whom the audience can relate. For example, in the story I have framed, I have used the famous cartoon character Naughty. Then decide on the place, setting or uh, then depending again on the theme of the story uh, like Dengue. So here you can select maybe playground, home or even outdoors. So let's recapitulate. A story should have a detailed setting, relevant, interesting and relatable characters, a properly structured plot with a correct sequence of events, a problem, struggle or dilemma, a dash of fun and humor that's very important for kids, then real life relevance and applicability, an open ending that leaves the students in a problem-solving state of mind. So there are two ways uh, I would like to suggest. Either you keep your story open-ended in the end. That means uh, let the students or the audience decide what would be the end of the story. Or you ask some questions in the end. So that their critical thinking is triggered. You can use storytelling in science by either telling the stories of the real scientists. For example, you can tell the story of Archimedes uh, who is taking bath in his bathtub watching water being splashed out. Or Newton sitting under an apple tree watching the apples falling one by one. You can use uh, interesting props. Maybe you can use face and eye masks, headgears, different types of puppets like finger puppets, shadow puppets to make your story more creative and interesting. And you can make your own stories. You can create your own stories. For example, Lactobacillus bacteria that sets the curve. So that can be the main character of your story. So as I told you earlier, my story is mini and naughty. Here the problem or the challenge is to find out Pinky's home. Plant habitat is the topic. Pinky is actually a water lily plant who has lost its home. So Minnie and Naughty help her to locate her house. 
Learning outcomes are to list various habitats of plants, to identify the specific features of plants belonging to a particular habitat. That means plants of fields or plants of deserts. In the story, we are talking about the characteristics or features of different plants of habitats. If you are interested in the story, I have put the link in the description box. The story I've done with the help of stick puppets. Now in the end, uh, I've asked few questions. So these are the questions uh, that students are supposed to answer after they hear the story. These are some of the useful websites for storytelling. They are free of cost. You can use them to frame or develop your own stories. And especially Bodha Guru is my favorite because they have a lot of stories related to science and to Indian context. Thank you for watching and that's all for this video.